Hey, what is up guys? Bongonzo here. So today we're going to be talking about how to use the step sequencer in Cakewalk Wide Band Lab. It's a really powerful tool to really do hi-hats. Like you can do any kind of drums, but I'm going to show you how to use it for hi-hats today. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to skip right to the section where I make a good hi-hat pattern using the step sequencer. And then we're going to go back to the beginning of the video and go through the actual process of making the entire beat. So basically you're going to learn how to use a step sequencer today. Um, if that sounds like a good thing to you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go right into how to make good hi-hat patterns using the step sequencer in Cakewalk. So first thing you've got to do is you've got to download a sampler. There is no sampler that's built into Cakewalk. Let me kind of explain what a sampler is. There is a free one called ADSR Sampler that I'm gonna link in the description. And basically what a sampler is, is you can take a WAV file that you have on your computer and link it to a MIDI note so you can play it with your keyboard. So now what you gotta do is use whatever sampler you're using and find a good hi-hat sound. I think this is a good one. Now I want to clarify that you can use any kind of instrument with your step sequencer. You can even use a kick drum, snare, you can even use a melody if you wanted to. So now what you gotta do is click on the Hyatt track itself in, in the MIDI section and then right click on the track and push view step sequencer. Now that you have this little section down here, we're gonna push shift D to make it full size and then click on the B3 um, row that you have here and click this little plus sign a whole bunch of times. The reason you do that is because you want to draw your Hyatt notes at C5. First you got to turn this little beats up to 8 and then turn this little steps up to 8. That will give you the right number of um, notes to play that won't be too fast and won't be too slow. So now right click on your C5 row and push fill every 4. Now what we got to do is click D. Make sure you drag this little MIDI channel all the way to the left so it starts right where you want it to. Double click on it again, shift D, and let's listen to it. If you want it to go faster, you can do fill every two. So, so what I usually like to do is I have my first couple notes as a, so it's like a really fast roll. And then you can literally just place wherever you think it should be. You'll figure this out pretty quickly, but to place a note, you click the left click, and to delete a note, you click the right click. And that's really all you gotta know. So now that you have a good hi hat pattern going there, click D, so you can see your um, song again. Now what we wanna do is you wanna duplicate this hi hat pattern so it goes over both sections. So we're just gonna do that by holding Control and drag to the right. So now if you listen to it, they're exactly, exactly identical. Now you don't want them to be exactly identical because that kind of gets repetitive and boring. So what you want to do is you want to be able to edit just this one to add some variation to it. Let's say we delete these first four and we play it way down here, which doesn't sound good, but let's just hear it. As you can see, it changes the on the left one too. So if we, let's do undo there. So what you want to do is I'm going to I'm going to highlight both of them by just clicking and dragging with my smart tool. And then I'm going to right click and go bounce to clips. And then if we look at this full screen now it's all in MIDI normal form and you can edit it however you want. So I what I usually do is I add a triplet in some form right around here. And I'll delete the first note. So if we listen from halfway And just like that, your height pattern is done.
bongo solo. Thank you guys so much for watching. This beat actually turned out fire. It's been about a week and a half since I've actually made a beat, which is so surprising because I used to make a beat every single day. So anyway, I've been really busy recently, but this one turned out amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button while you're down there, and I'll see you guys next week Saturday. Just keep creating.